of the cases we've talked about, the SSA case can be a little awkward when you're trying to find an unknown angle. So I'd like to talk about that next. So in particular, I would like to use the law of signs to find that angle. And the setup is um, hopefully pretty straightforward. Let's give this angle a name. Let's call it alpha. Then the sine of alpha over 8 is the sine of 35 degrees over 6. Then the sine of alpha equals, we multiply both sides by 8. Eight times the sine of thirty five degrees over six. So the sine of alpha is this. Again, I plugged stuff into the calculator off screen. And this is not something we can solve in our head, but we can use the arc sign to solve it. And we get alpha equals 49.889 degrees. Success, right? Only when we go back and look at this angle, it sure doesn't look as if alpha should be around 50 degrees. I mean, that angle looks obtuse. That angle looks as if it should be bigger than 90 degrees. And this is a problem we can run into when you're, you're using the law of signs to find an angle in this particular case, where we've got side-side angle, SSA. And what's going on here is we could draw in a side of length six, this angle is also alpha, or rather, sorry, I botched that. What I meant to say was, because these two sides are the same. Sorry, did not mean to cover the camera up. Because the sides are the same, because they're both six, this triangle is isosceles. 
And the angle we just found, the 49 point something, 49.889, We just found those angles, which are not the angles we're looking for. Fortunately, once we've recognized that this has happened, finding alpha is straightforward. Here's alpha. Here's 49.88, not 880, was it? 49.889. These angles together give you 180 degrees. So to find alpha, we have to subtract. So in the textbook, um, there's a very sort of detailed breakdown of when this case can occur. I would say that rather than worry about that breakdown, we should just be able to recognize it when it does occur. Like here, we get 49.889. And we look at the triangle, and we look at this alpha, this angle we're looking for, and we say that can't be right. This angle is clearly bigger than 90 degrees. And then when we've recognized that this case is occurring, we subtract 180 minus the angle we found, to find the real angle. 